The Story of Jonah with the Home and Pets, Part 2. Let's review. There was a prophet named Jonah, someone who spoke for God. And God asked him to go to Nineveh, but Jonah didn't want to go because the Ninevites were really bad. So instead, he went on a boat somewhere else, and God sent a big storm. But during the big storm, the sailors were freaking out, and Jonah told them to throw him overboard, and finally, they did. And once he was overboard in the sea, a big whale swallowed him up. And that's where we are today. Jonah was in the belly of that big whale for three days. And while he was there, he did some thinking, kind of like he was on a big time out. He thought about how God had asked him to go to the Ninevites, how he had run away because he didn't want to do it, and how he was now stuck in this whale. And he started praying to God. He told God that at first he thought God was really mad at him, and that's why all this bad stuff was happening with the storm and with the icky whale belly. But then he realized that really God was a loving and caring God. He realized that when the big whale swallowed him, it saved him so he wouldn't get hurt. And he realized that God did love and care for him and the people of Nineveh. And so he should really go and tell the people of Nineveh that. So he told God he would do what God asked him to do in the beginning before Jonah ran away. And after he finished praying, the big whale, and the big whale, well, it's really yucky, but he puked Jonah up onto the beach so that Jonah could continue doing what God had asked him to do. Because God is a loving, caring God. He cared for Jonah, he cared for Nineveh, and he cares for you and me too. And what happens next? Well, we'll have to see next week.